Hello and welcome to another video from Learn UX ID. I am Mohammad Hassan and today we are going to look at some of the navigation or drilling down into your layers and moving up in Figma and few more shortcuts I would share with you. So if you are a designer and uh, like me, I actually saw a designer like six months ago. Uh, he was a professional UI designer and what he was doing is he was not using his mouse. So he was just using keyboard very swiftly and doing the design. I would I was really amazed how he is able to do that. So to answer that, we have to use some of the shortcuts in Figma. So let's get to those shortcuts. Now the first one is, like you can see over here, I have selected this frame. So if I want to drill down into it, I would press enter. And now you can see I am inside uh, the layers. Now I have selected everything. So I, if I want to move everything down or up, I, I can do that. Okay. Now the next thing is if I want to go one by one, I would, I am going to press um, tab key on your keyboard. So tab. So the first top one layer is selected tab and the next frame is selected. If I want to drill down, then I'm going to press enter again, again, tab like this. Now, if you want to go back, then you are going to uh, press shift and enter. So you are going one step back, shift and enter. You are going one step back. So this is how you are going to drill down into your layers uh, via your keyboard shortcuts. This is really, really handy, uh, nice work. Uh, one more thing is, for example, if I am uh, changing something in this layer and I want to select my frame, so the quick shortcut is backslash. So once I select backslash, it is going to select my whole artboard uh, or frame and I would easily go back. So this is actually going back to parent. So if I have selected this layer, you can see over here and I press backslash, you can see it is going towards its parent not the whole artboard, but it's parent. So this is uh, backslash, uh, handy shortcuts. So this is how you drill down into your layers. Okay, so next is uh, how you would going to switch the layers, assets and the design prototype inspect. You have to press Alt uh, or your option key on your Mac and one is for layers. Uh, keep pressing Alt, two is for assets. So one is for layers, two is for assets. Uh, Alt or option eight is for design, nine is for prototype, inspect is for zero. So you can uh, easily move between these eight, Alt, eight, nine, zero. Uh, here you can go back to layers panel, Alt pressing or option one or Alt one. So this is how you move uh, inside these. So this is uh, my whole uh, simple uh, tutorial on different shortcuts that are really, really handy. Now, one more thing which Figma has recently released is if you select this one, this whole artboard and frame. So let's move this inside it. Okay, so here we keep it over here. Okay, so this is, uh, uh, if you want to, let's go to design. So if you want to proportionally uh, make it bigger or scale it or scale down, they have a simple shortcut key, press or hit K on your keyboard and you can see here we have scale. You can set where you want the scale handle to be. So if we scale from here, it would scale like this from uh, left bottom to top right. So I would keep it in the middle and I'm going to scale it to 0.7 or 70%. So it would scale down to 70%. So this is my design. And if I, now you can see, now it has become one X. So if I want to go back, I think I would use 1.3 X. And I think it's almost closer to that. Make sure you keep remembering your width and height. So because this is a bit, um, problem when something happens like this. <clears throat> now next shortcut, which you might not even know is uh, like, let's select this background. 
So where is the background of this? Okay, so here we have the background of this black background. Now, if I click inside this, uh, we have this fill color. And if I move my keyboard arrow key up, so arrow up, 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 up. So you can see it is making it more lighter. So this color is getting more lighter. Every time I press up, it would go lighter. And when I press down, it would be darker. So let's keep it, keep making it darker and darker. So you can see now it is a lot darker. So let's test this same over here so you can easily see it. So I am making it more lighter, 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 lighter. And let's move it down and make it darker. So you can see this is a very, very handy trick. So if you are, you know, working with colors and you quickly want to go into some shades or into some tints, you can easily do that. So you can easily go into darker shades and lighter shades. So this is a really, really handy tool uh, and few of the shortcuts I think I should share with you guys. And I think these would be helpful in your journey and learning Figma and making more better UI designs. This design actually is from my daughter that is 14 years. One is almost 10, 11 years. They both actually were working on uh, my Figma, looking at my Figma courses and they were making this, you can see over here. So this is uh, what they were designing. So uh, that is all. Uh, keep learning and make sure you um, keep watching and keep, keep coming to this um, channel. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe and share this video. I will meet you in another video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.